everyone, it's always me, Francesco. Welcome to this new uh, video. Welcome to this new wine discussion. We are about to taste this three different uh, Montemaggio wine. Of course, these are the three different uh, Chianti Classico uh, levels. So we have this Chianti Classico uh, di Montemaggio, the standard version, uh, what we call the Annata. Then we have the uh, Chianti Classico Reserva and then we have the Chianti Classico Gran Selezione. So we will try today to understand a little bit better what kind of differences uh, we can of course find when it comes about these three different products. And we will try also to understand a little bit better what kind of rules we have for each different category, right? So let's dive into it. I'm so excited. Uh, those kind of wines are amazing for me. So yeah, that's it. Okay, let's start with this wine discussion. We will start uh, from the uh, first wine. We will start from the Chianti Classico di Montemaggio, which is a 2015 vintage. I hope you will be able to see it. And this wine right here, it's actually our entry level wine. Although I don't really like this word, also because th before this wine is uh, actually released on the market, it usually takes five, six years, so I don't think this is that kind of entry level wine. I think this is wine that's really mature. It takes, of course, um, we give to this wine the, the right timing um, for uh, aging, and it's actually quite, quite complex. So I don't really like to define this wine an entry level. So I prefer to call it Chianti Classico Standard, if you want. And uh, yeah, it's 100% Sangiovese, and let's dive into the discussion, uh, into the analysis of this wine. So, first of all, color. You can see that the color, it's uh, ruby red, especially in the uh, central part. Of course, when you take a look to the border, you can see a slightly much more uh, granite reflex. You know, when a wine is getting older, wine starts to lose a little bit of uh, the uh, color. And on the border, in, in your glass, you will see a slightly uh, much more orangey or granite kind of color, which is, of course, uh, something that is um, in relation with the evolution of that kind of wine. So this one is just showing you is age. So if you want to understand a little bit better the age of your wine, just go and check the color you can find on the border. The center part, it's usually telling you uh, about the variety, about um, what kind of grape uh, the um, winery uh, or the winemaker uh, used for that specific wine. And for this wine, we have Sangiovese. Okay, let's try now to understand uh, what we can perceive when it comes about the nose. So you can perceive, uh, of course, this beautiful red berries aroma a little bit of minerality, a little bit of saltiness, you can perceive there's something very fresh. And a little bit of like a herbaceo aroma, just like the aromatic perception you can have when you smell the green grass. What about the mouth, of course? Let's now try to understand what this uh, wine uh, reminds to us when it comes about the, um, the mouth. We have this beautiful freshness that, of course, it's like exploding everywhere in our mouth. We can perceive a little bit of minerality on the tip of our tongue and then, of course, on the internal part of our cheeks. Then in the back, you have much more, uh, let's say, spicy kind of aromas. Uh, and the um, end of this wine, it's actually quite long. Of course, again, as I told you, it's a, a almost six years old wine. And so it's already complex, it's already mature, it's already, uh, in my opinion, quite well structured uh, for, um, for a Chianti Classico. So it's really, 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 really ready to be uh, drunk. And uh, of course, it's uh, in a very good moment of, of its life. As I told you, the wine tends to change uh, with the aging and it gets a little bit more complex. Just imagine that, of course, when a wine is younger, you perceive much more fruitiness. You're closer to the harvest moment, so you perceive grapes, right? So you perceive uh, your brain will translate those kind of aromas into fruity aromas. So it's just a trick of your brain. Your brain will tell you, wait, I perceive 
fruitness in that kind of one. But when it gets getting older, you will develop much more stratification, much much more layers, different layers of aromas, and your wine will start to be a little bit more complex, a little bit more richer, and the conversation will be, of course, uh, first of all, easier and much more uh, interesting, right? So you will have many things to perceive when it comes about that specific wine. So you need to know that when it comes about Chianti Classico, the construction of Chianti Classico uh, is usually telling to the wineries that they are allowed to release a Chianti Classico in the market after uh, more or less one year after the harvest. Actually, the law says you can release the Chianti Classico on the market the 1st of October uh, um, of the year after the harvest. So this is really important for us. We really prefer to give the chance to our wine to be more mature, to become much more complex. And so that's the reason why we usually um, like to age the wine a couple of years in big barrel, uh, of course, to have a much more fine and elegant kind of um, uh, aroma, to, of course, have a little bit of spicy notes as well. Um, and, uh, you know, in a bigger barrel, you have less interaction between the wood and the wine because it's bigger. And, of course, the wine will be much more elegant, much more fine. And then, of course, we do uh, other four years in the bottle before we release it on the market. So it's usually six, sometimes five years. It depends if the wine is ready or not. As I told you, this wine here comes from a very warm vintage, from a um, vintage that, of course, it's, it's, it was a little bit unusual for us. And, of course, it sounds much more, let's say, uh, still sound much more uh, fruity and a little bit probably higher in alcohol compared to the usual that we have here. Uh, the acidity is still, uh, anyway, beautiful, so you have this beautiful freshness uh, perception, and this is a very versatile wine, so I would like to suggest you to match this wine with um, everything, literally, from a simple aperitivo snack um, to a uh, wild bird, um, uh, or uh, um, if you want a Florentina T-bone, uh, or even if you want to, a very heavy kind of fish, like a salmon uh, or a swordfish, uh, so you can really have many different options. It's a very light, um, but uh, anyway, um, very well structured kind of red wine. So you have many different options to match this wine. So let's now uh, go to taste the uh, Reserva Chianti Classico from 2013 of Montemar. So when it comes about the color, this wine here has this beautiful uh, lighter, much more orange kind of color, much more orange brick color on the border. And this wine is just showing to us its own age. The central part, you have this beautiful, typical Sangiovese, very mature Sangiovese kind of color. And uh, when it comes about the nose, we have this beautiful leather nose. We have a bit of a rosemary. We have bay leaf. We have this beautiful minerality even here. We have in general a lot of spicy notes, a lot of spices. So when it comes about the mouth, you can probably tell that this wine comes from a slightly colder vintage. You will perceive this beautiful, um, fresh um, kind of perception, this beautiful minerality, really balanced, really complex, just like many layers of different aromas. And it's so round beautiful, even the um, um, finish, uh, even the end, uh, even um, the, the last kind of perception you have in your mouth, you have this very fresh uh, kind of perception. So let's start now to discuss about the Gran Selezione. Gran Selezione is the top of the pyramidal quality of Chianti Classico. We says that we have at the bottom the Chianti Classico da Nata or entry level, whatever you prefer. Then we have the mid part, which is the Reserva, and then we have the top part, the higher quality, which is Gran Selezione. The minimum of aging that is required is 36 months, but we prefer to do four years in the wood, four years in the bottle. This one is really much more mature and comes from the best selection from the best vineyards of our, uh, of course, property, of our estate. So you see slightly lighter uh, color compared to the Reserva, so it's just one year. And uh, of course, when it comes about the nose, we have, of course, more complexity. We have a little bit of a honey. We have, of course, again here, spices, spicy notes. We have leather notes even here. 
I have a little bit of chocolate actually. What about the milk? When it comes about the mouth, this wine has such a beautiful expression. Still has the same freshness, the same minerality in common with the Reserva that we tasted before, but it has much more layers. It's so complex, so round, and we have this beautiful end. We have spicy notes with a little bit of honey when it comes about the end of the wine. And we have this beautiful minerality everywhere. This is a wine that is actually very versatile. So in this case, not only very important means like Florentina Tibons, but this is actually something you probably also want to drink with other many type of food. So again, a very versatile, very, very, very versatile wine. So this is, of course, the higher quality, the, the, let's say the higher level of Chianti Classico. And in my opinion, 2012, it's also an amazing one. This wine is an, you know, an incredible moment of its life. Of course, it's still a wine that can have an amazing longevity. It's still very vibrant. So if you want, you can also try to age it for a longer time. I really recommend that. But again, this moment for this wine, it's an incredible, incredible time. So if you want, just try it now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and now of course you will uh, be able to understand a little bit better differences between uh, Chianti Classico Dannata Reserva and Gran Selezione. See you next time. Ciao!